do not work for free. Even though I'm kind of guilty of that as well. Have you ever worked on a documentary and not gotten paid? Have you ever worked without a contract? Have you allowed other people to work with you without a contract? Do you even know what goes into a contract? What is a contract? Earlier this year when I went to Getting Real, which is the largest documentary conference in the world, I'm pretty sure, in Los Angeles, it's a four-day event conference. They announce a bunch of documentary things, and the DPA launched their contract guidelines. What is that? The contract guidelines are basically how do you write a contract for documentaries and specifically for documentary producers. The DPA is the Documentary Producers Alliance and they are over 500 international members of documentary producers ranging from emerging to Academy Award winning people. If you go to their website right now, it looks like this. I'll also have the link in the show notes. And it is a juicy PDF, let me tell you. Basically, this document is for you if you want to find out how much money you should make as a documentary producer. It also talks about all the different things that you need in order to have a full contract. Okay, so here are some things that really stuck with me. One is that minimum rate table, okay? That is the first of its kind. I don't think anything like that exists on the internet. Okay, so they broke it up into three different tiers. Now, I will say, this does not count for docu-series, it does not count for short docs, and these numbers might be surprising to what the norm is because a lot of doc people are underpaid. However, these are real rates and they were researched compared to other union rates and market data, yada yada. Okay, for tier one, so this is a budget, this is really for feature docs, but up to $750,000, the minimum recommended rate for the lead producer on the documentary is $2,400 per week. Now in tier two, that goes up to 1.5 million. That means that your producer should be making $3,000 per week. Tier three, if it's up to 2.25 million, you should be making $3,600 per week. And for budgets over 2.25 million, producers should scale their minimum rates accordingly. So sometimes it's really hard to quantify how much work you actually put into a documentary. There is creative, production obviously, uh, editing, applying to grants, a million different things. And the definitions of a producer are very complicated. And so these guidelines give you a framework to understand what your role is for real and like how many hours you actually put into it and having a structure or at least a guideline for how to price yourself. I guess my hot take on this when I saw it was, wow, that's not as much money as I'm getting paid. That sounds nice. Like none of my budgets are over $750,000, but this is nice. This is a start. And I've had a lot of conversations with people at Getting Real and also just virtually. And when I was teaching this with members and we have to start somewhere. This industry is not necessarily the most sustainable. Now we have the power to say, hey, look, on, on behalf of this organization, show this to Netflix, show this to Apple, show this to all the streaming platforms and you know leverage this data that we have and stand up for ourselves as other producers in the film industry do. Do not work without a contract. This one I live and die by, okay? Do not exchange money if you don't have a contract on both sides. The next thing I took away from the DPA guidelines was this trial period. And a trial period is exactly what it sounds like. You basically have an experiment, if you will, a short period of time with a specific scope of work that you outline in a contract with the rights holder. Now rights holder just means whoever owns the documentary. And during that period of time, you get to see if you're a good fit. So before saying, hey, you wanna be my documentary producer? Uh, yeah, we should probably like hang out. I should do a couple tasks with you. Like I should make sure I'm aligned with you. Uh, I don't wanna like spend my whole life with you if I don't need to. You know, you need to like date before you marry, okay? And so this trial period allows you to test it out, test out the waters. I just want everyone to read it, check it out, have a glass of wine, review it, tell your lawyer friends, tell your streaming friends, and educate yourself. If there's anything that you take from this, do not work for free. If you're a documentary filmmaker and you have a hot take that you want me to discuss, let me know.